Welcome to the Daily Word for Easter. Today's reading is from the Book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 32 to the end. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, and then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. This is the word of the Lord. Sharing the Common Goods The sharing of all things in the early church was obviously a voluntary act of believers. During the period when everything was in common use, people selflessly sold their properties, handed it them over to the apostles for unified management, and distributed them to the needy. The central point here is not that they have to hand over all their properties, but that they distribute to everyone, that is, sharing with others. Christians at that time fully embraced the new changes brought about by that new relationship, and everyone was filled with the love of Christ. When people experience God's love and grace, and the joy of Christ's redemption, they will realize that everything they have is a gift from God. They know that they came to the world empty-handed, and will leave the world empty-handed. As they understand that everything they have comes from God, the most beautiful thing what they could do is to share with others what God has given them. At the same time, they are not only willing to share with others in the church, even outside, even among unbelievers. They also deliver this kind of special love. This undoubtedly fulfill the requirements of the two great commandments of Jesus. That is, to love God and also to love our neighbours. From such a life of shared common things, the scriptures also brought out an important vigour in the early church named Barnabas. Like everyone else, he sold the field, and the money he got was placed at the feet of the apostles. What is special about him is that his name is Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. It is the name given to him by the apostles. His original name was Joseph. Son of exaltation means eloquence, know how to exhort people, so the people can be comforted and encouraged. This is a spiritual gift which the church desperately needs. What Barnabas did was fit with his words. He knew how to comfort people with words, and in the same time, he sold the field for sharing with others. Selling the field was denouncing one's self. If someone is unwilling to surrender one's self, but only tries to have a share of the fruits of common goods, in a way, he is taking advantage of others. I once read an article about a monk in the medieval ages, and it gave me a deeper understanding of this teaching. The article mentions a monk who came from a wealthy family. After being enlightened, he donated his possessions to the monastery, and then he chose to live in the monastery. 
His renunciation was certainly inspired by the sharing of common goods in the early church. How can we see this? The author mentioned that his only property in the monastery was a Bible with his name on it, but upon it was not written, "The Bible is owned by someone so and so." But the Bible is used by someone so and so. In order to reach the point of truly sharing with others, we need to throw away all materialistic burdens. Yet we need not to sell our properties and houses and distribute them to everyone, like the early church. We must always care for others' needs. We could put down our materialistic desires with a love for the needy. As a response to God's grace and love, the Lord is generous, and He expects His people to be generous and willing to share with those in need. Reflection: Do I want to share with others what I have today? How can we give generously for the different needs of people around us? Is sharing our belongings with others the best spiritual comfort for others? Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for putting Barnabas's example before us. Please teach us that we could live out our words in our daily lives. Besides exhorting others, we can also keep the commandments of loving God and our neighbors by sharing with those in need, and grant us with gratitude. And generosity throughout our lives, in the name of the Lord. Amen.